What's going on, everyone? It's General Tario, your coach of the Starlight Carbinks, bringing you the UPFC Week 2. Now, I'm just going to quickly break down uh, Chewy's team, then I'll go over stuff that happened for the featured mass match and my previous week so we can keep this battle going and not have Chewy wait. Um, Chewy brought the Steelix, the Entei, the Neuvern, the Chansey, the Malamar, and the Mega Slowbro. Not fully what I expected. I did not expect the Steelix nor the Malamar, so I have to watch out for those. They might be something interesting, but it was also uh, good predictions overall, predicting uh, the Entei, the Neuvern, the Chansey, and the Slowbro on my part. And quickly, I have a uh, basically a max defensive tank growth with Rocky Helmet. This was to mainly take on any possibility in Bulu, which he didn't even bring, so um, tank growth won't possibly have that much of a, an important, important impact in this game, unless possibly against the Steelix or the Malamar, because it can't live a hit against the Entei. I have a mix special attack and attacking Embor. Grass Knot, Flamethrower, Superpower, Stone Edge with the Life Orb. I have a defensive Latios to take on the Ambor. I have Choice Scarf on it though, so I can trick that onto the incoming Chansey. And then I have the basic uh, Mega Manetric, Hidden Power Ice, which just so I could hit Neuvern harder. I didn't need another fourth move because of the electric and fire coverage. Um, I brought Carbink. This was my only answer to a special attacking Neuvern, so it's special defense invested. And I had to make sure I brought a uh, user with Toxic in case he's a Calm Mind Sobro that wants to try and set up. And then I have a Banditus Cavalier because he does not have many answers with the coverage and such. Alright, so first turn, his possibility is leading Steelix. I can lead Mega Main and get momentum on anything I want. Um, choice Band, Entei, and Choice Specs, um, Noi, Noi Bats, what I'm expecting. He could go E Speed here if he's. Banded, so I want to check the uh, possible damage to see how much he could do. All right, but for um for the for my previous match last week, I just did not play well. Uh, I was using stall as basically just an excuse because I was already upset, and um I could have easily have taken down that Mantine. A banded Flare Blitz from Embora still did 40% to it, so it'd be forced to roost again and stuff. So I could have worked around like that. I was overestimating uh. Mantine and it's okay. It was just a loss that doesn't really matter too much. Chewy didn't even have his first week It just wasn't a thing for him uh, They couldn't him in elite four Dan couldn't get around to doing the battle. So That was unfortunate for them Um, I do need to note though if he goes into Steelix one flamethrower will not kill him because he's probably special defense invested He does not He is a scarf and or Oh wow, it's good I know that now. It sucks for him though. <laughs> How much would that have done? I'm just gonna check this just because that's that's scary. <laughs> um. Oh wow, it was already taking account for the minus one. Yeah, that would have done a lot of damage. <laughs> that sucks for Chewy. But we're gonna take those. Um. So for the week one featured match, it was Mighty Kiss versus Panther. And Mighty Kiss once again had the amazing... What? Wait, watch. Let me get this trick. If it goes on Steelix or Chansey, I'll be happy. Hold up. We're going to wait to get this nice switch. This nice trick off. It's about to be really hype. Are you guys ready for this? Hold up. Oh, long pause. Chewie's deciding which one he wants to uh, give this choice scarf to real quick. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, no, he's taking too long. But uh, Mydekiss pulled out the win against Panther. There was some hacks in the game that did matter, such as Helios uh, Z-Move getting a critical hit on the Florges. But uh, Mydekiss did pick up that win in the end. He used... We get that trick off that is now a Steelix with a choice scarf. Give me those nice lefties. And let's see. What are you going to do here? You can Toxic or something like that. You're not going to go for... Or Stealth Rocks. Um, I don't want to risk an... Actually, I can risk an Earthquake because he wouldn't click that against Latios. He'll probably just go for Stealth Rocks here. 
knowing Chansey probably doesn't have it. Chansey probably has soft boiled, um, either Thunder Wave or Toxic, um, Seismic Toss. So if this thing has Rock Switch, I'm assuming he does on that switch in. Even though considering if I have Defog here, that'd be pointless for him. But I also don't want to get toxic here. I'll just go... Let me see if Prince is the right play. He doesn't necessarily have a good um switch in to Escavalier. So let me check that. Let's just assume he's a max defense Steelix for right now. Oh, if he's max defense, he kind of eats anything from a Scavalier. So, um, I might just click Tide Shock here just to see what he's gonna do. Or I could go Tangrowth and get momentum that way. Get off a of Sleep Powder on anything that wants to come in, or a Knock Off. Actually, I'll get off Knock Off. One, I can get rid of Entei Scarf. And that'll be important. Hmm. Tangrowth definitely seems like a good play here. Because he eats anything he's going for. But I also don't want a Toxic on me, if that's what he's going for. So I feel like a Scavalier is still the right play. I'll just go Scavalier. I don't want to risk Toxic. He goes Dragon Tail. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now we f we get free Stealth Rocks right here. That's awesome. Um, Let's see. He probably goes in the Slowbro right here now. Um, I can get Toxic on right now. No, let me go ahead and get Stealth Rocks up and then Toxic to Slowbro. Or it doesn't, it doesn't matter which order I do it. I mean, he's forced to switch here. If I know he's going Slowbro, I can act like it was an accident. No. <laughs> I just want to get the Toxic on that thing, force um, possible Heal Bell on Chansey if it has it. Yeah, so I'll go Rocks here. I can eat a Scald, at least one of them. And I'll get this Toxic, bo toxic up on the Slowbro. Oh, but if he's a Rest Set, it doesn't matter. But if he's a rest set, I just make the right play into a Scavalier. And a Scavalier basically one-shots even a max defensive Slowbro, which is kind of crazy. It's not kind of crazy, it's ridiculous, because max defensive Slowbro eats... Um, Crook. Like, a banded Crook honestly did nothing in the end. He just goes for a Scald. We basically eat that up. Um, he could go for a Call Mine or another Scald right here. I'm gonna go Hard Tangrowth. Tangrowth can then go for a knockoff. Or, no, actually, if he has Ice Beam, though, he's probably going for that. Maybe I should just go for Giga Drain right here. Because Vente comes in, it comes in on rocks. And then I can work around that with uh, Latios. I need to see how much an Ice Beam would do to me if he's carrying it, because Tangrowth's still important for this match, even though he doesn't have a. Tapu Bulu. Uh, let's see. Let's go with Mom Spaghetti. Again, slow bro. Mega defensive. Scald would have done 23 to 27. Yeah, that's him. He's max defense, so he's probably a Calm Mind variant. But I need to check Ice Beam just in case. Nope, not Hidden Power Ice. That's a lot of damage. Okay. I know he has no special attack investment though, so I'm freely going for this Giga Drain technically. Um, Entei will live, but that doesn't help him in the end. He could also go Noivern. I think I should just go Knock Off. Well, no, that's still a roll for the Ice Beam. I should just go Giga Drain. Uh, I'm not a man. Is so the Steelix just going for Scarf Rocks? Because you don't touch me. And if you do touch me, you get hurt. I'll just go for Giga Drain and go for Knock Off the following turn. 
that seems like a fair play. You did, well, I See, I know these things and then I just forget about them a second later. It's like I screw myself over. It's honestly very stupid. <laughs> like, when it was fr freaking Steelix versus Latias, I'm like, oh, you might have the toxic. I can't go in the Tangrowth. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Never listen to me, kiddos. It's okay. We're going to get this knockoff on the possible incoming Entei, Noivern, or Chansey. There's the Eviola. Goodbye. And now we're going to a free switch into a Skivalier. Because he can go T Wave. War Toxic, predicting something. T Wave does actually hurt me. Because that way, um, Mega Slowbro. Or a Skivalier doesn't outspeed Mega Slowbro. Um. I feel like. No, why would he go for T Wave here? You could just go for Seismic Toss and get off damage. I just put him to sleep here without worry. Because I'm going to get plenty of regen. Toxic will do some. Um, Seismic Toxic isn't going to do too much to me. Okay, he does have the... That's cool! I didn't want to hit it. We're just going hard as Cavalier here. I don't care. Um, he... Now he knows I'm not really afraid of going for a sleep powder, so he's kind of forced to go for a seismic toss, in my opinion. Actually, no, I want to go hard Embor. Does he outspeed me with that scarf now? <laughs> I need to think about this. If that Steelix has no speed investment, I don't want to mess this up. I know he has scarf. I don't want to screw myself over. I should probably just go hard Lottie. No, I can go hard Tang again and just click Giga Drain. Alright, I'm 166 speed. If he's 80 speed, then he doesn't get anywhere. Because that's, that's him without investment, right? I'm going to open up Team Builder just to check this out. <laughs> like, I don't want to... I don't want to mess this up. This is honestly, that'd be honestly really sad just because. Alright, so he's 96. Yeah, so he would, well, no. No, I still outspeed if he has no speed investment. He's base 30. He has nothing to outspeed on my team. I'm taking a risk here because if he goes for Earthquake, I'm screwed. <laughs> Um, crap. I don't know what I want to do here. I took that risk. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. That was ballsy. Alright. Now does he go slow here? He's also free to go. No chance he still dies. Um, he could go a Noivern here. That's definitely a possibility. That would force me to do a switch. He might just go Silver here to get health back, though. And I need to calc my Grass Knot. I don't think I invested as much special attack for a kill right here, though, after rocks. He'd be at 69. I think that's a roll. I think my max was, like, 68 before special attack investment, so... I just want to go ahead and know this, because if he does come in, then... Or if he comes in later on, it's just something I gotta know. Alright, Grass Knot's a very low roll. It's a 60 to 70 roll. It's very even. Do we take the risk? <laughs> no. We would need max, 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 max. So that's not worth it. Um, he might predict just going into him. Um, I can go into Lottie, because this thing technically can't do anything, unless it just wants to get off a free slack off. But knowing that he has the, um, heal bell, this means that he's not a rest set. It means he's probably 
Scald, Sideshock, um, Slack Off, and Enter Other Move here. I mean, Toxic kind of make Toxic maybe. That would make sense. That might be what he goes for here. But if I let Embor go down, that's one less answer for the annoying Chansey. I mean, it doesn't have... Um, it doesn't have the uh, heavy old light anymore, so special attacks would still be doing decent stuff to it. I mean, even if he does go for the toxic, it's not going to be doing anything to Tang. He might just be going uh, slack off right here. I don't know if I want to take that risk yet. Because he's living this. Like, the rule is not in my favor. <laughs> like, um... Or I could go hard as Cavalier. Because he has no switch ins to that. But then I have the risk of getting Scald burned. I'll just go Tang, the obvious play though. So if he goes for Ice Beam, then. Yawn. Oh, I could have got that Grass Knot. Okay, so he's forced to. Uh... Actually, he's not forced to switch. He might stay in this time. Uh, okay, so he's got. Uh... Yawn, Slack Off, Scald, Psy Shock. Alright, that's good to know. Um, so I can go for a free Giga Drain here. Or I can go for Sleep Powder. That way it hits him or any possible switch in. Please hit this time. Thank you. Um, I can go hard Lottie here, but I'm tempted just to go hard Embor. Because he actually he could go hard, um... Moivern here. The Scavalier is too risky. Manetric would get bopped. Um, see, Latias is the obvious play. So he could go into um, Chansey or Neuvern. That's my uh, thought process behind that. Curving doesn't do anything to either of those. I want to keep pressure up though. Alright, he doesn't switch. And then Bor's asleep. Does he let this thing go down? I mean, it depends on what he locked himself into. Actually, no, I can go for anything because the following turn grass number will for sure kill Sobro. So I can go for a free superpower right here and not risk, um, say, missing a stone edge. Because he will get this out speed if he wakes up. Um, Stone Edge would put me in a better roll range than Superpower on Mega Slow Row, probably. Do I, like, can I check that calc without... Oh, wow. So, superpower still does a decent amount. Yeah, I'll just click that. He just stays in. Go into the Mega Slow Row, and you will be in Grass Knot range. Do it without even thinking. Don't go Noivern. Go slow, bro. You want to slack off. You know you do. Do it. Do it. Do the roar. Okay, so we're doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, I'm not even talking that much. I'm just focusing on the battle. He goes Malamar. I don't know what to do to you. I'm just going to be honest. I don't know what to do to you. Um, Tangrowth? <laughs> when in doubt, go Tangrowth. Um, he might just be going for the, uh, Superpower here. Psycho Cut. Okay, you do nothing. He might be a subset. Since you have lefties. A sub-contrary. So I'm gonna go for Giga Drain here in case of that. Um. Yeah, that seems like a fair play. It was for knockoff. Alright, we get health back. That's easy. Alright, so I don't think he's going to stay in here necessarily. He might go uh, Noivern, so I can go for knockoff or sleep powder here. Um, I'm also tempted just to go hard Manetric. Because Manetric can live one hit against this thing. Or actually, no, he can live any hit to start off. Especially since I get the Intimidate. And if he makes any switch, then I get the... Uh, Momentum. So I'll do that. He stays in. 
I just derp so hard right there. Um. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that was a mistake. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Thunderbolt, he might... That didn't do that much than I thought it would. Like a plus on superpower only did 60. How much? I have 96, so... We're just going to see um what kind of Malamar this is. Contrary attacker. What? That's not even a roll for a superpower. Am I miscalculating something? Oh, it already gave it a... Oh, I hate the Intimidate when they do it like that. Alright, just give me a plus one. Alright, so that's... That's an Invest in Malamar. Not a fully, but it's like a... It's, it's a little attack investment. So he does have a good chance of living this Thunderbolt, so I should just full switch out into Latios. But then Latios can't touch it. Mm. Or I can just Volt switch out and then go into uh, something. Thunderbolt just doesn't kill if he's put deaf. I mean... Embor is definitely switching after. Maybe, depending on his speed. Maybe I should just... No, I'll just go for Volt Switch. And I should sack something and then come right back in and click Volt Switch again. That's the proper play, so I'll just check, uh, sack Carbank here. It's not even a sack. <laughs> um, please don't have rest. That'd be annoying. That would actually be really annoying. Alright, good. We just click Volt Switch again and then everything's taken care of. That was scary. That was a bad play. <laughs> like, I know it has the contrary and then I go into the Intimidate anyways. Alright, it's, it's, it's okay. We just don't have any odds of a 6-0 now. That's all. <laughs> Uh, I think we're still in a good position, because now he doesn't really have much at all. Um, I go into anything. Um, I go Embor. Um, you might think I have Wild Charge at that point, and then he just goes, uh, Noivern. Actually, I don't have an answer to Noivern anymore. That's a problem. That is a problem indeed. Crap. Crap. It means I have to sack something and then I have to go into this thing afterwards for whatever I go into. Um, I'll just go into Scavalier and risk him not having Flamethrower. It seems like a fair play to me. If he goes Chansey, that thing can't eat two Mega Horns. It might not even eat one now considering it lost its heavy Olight. Uh, Mega Slowbro is a for sure dead, so he has to go Noivern. Um, let me see if he's just Specs Hurricane, how much that will do. So that Malamar actually hurt me more in the end than I thought. Why didn't I just go for Thunderbolt that turn then? Because I could have Volt Switch on the chance. Alright, so it was two misplays against the Malamar. Nice job, Ben. Um, let's go Scavalier, calc this real quick. Uh, Noivern choice specs. If he has a flamethrower, we get destroyed. If he only has, if he doesn't, he only has a hurricane. Then that's what. Um, he's not going Noivern immediately though, so that makes me expect that he doesn't. Cause I'm sacking this thing no matter what. Because whatever he goes for. 
one, he'll die if he doesn't have flamethrower. Oh, he said GG, he doesn't have flamethrower. Um, I honestly don't like when people say GG this early. <laughs> it's too... It just says too much. Um, I don't know how much Mega Horn's gonna be doing, but I should just go for that. Because I have no point in switching. How much does Iron Head do? Because that's a good... Actually, no. Mega Horn will destroy Noivern. He just goes, it's over. That's so sad, dude. Um, I outspeed you. You don't even get the wish. Now, let's see if a Scavalier can one-shot this Noivern. He doesn't even have the flamethrower. That's so awkward. Oh, we almost get it. Oh, only if I had Carbink. I wish I could get this kill. Alright, well that was a good fight against uh, Professor Chewy. He did a good job. He had an interesting Malamar set that almost screwed me over, so that was interesting. But there's the week two for UPFC. Definitely better than the last week. No complaining really at all except for a sleep powder miss. Unlike last week where it was nonstop. Eh, stall, eh, stall. But um, that'll be it. The feature match this week was, um, I believe it is Snor... Snorlaxis, uh, our Cory for Team Caterpie against uh, Jock on the uh, for the uh, Scotty Dr. Peppers. That's what I believe. Um, so that'll be it for me for the UPFC guys. Make sure to watch out the APA battle for this week and the team build for it as well. Um, sub, like, share, deuces.